Welcome back to CryptoWise. My name is Marvin and I will be your captain for this episode. And today we are back talking about NFTs. That is right. We are back talking NFTs. My last NFT video was the biggest, the hottest NFT video I have ever done. And I am so grateful for all the love and support we got for that. That was the top 100x NFTs, the top three new NFT projects that will 100x your money. My, well, my money uh, had over 261,000 of you that watched that and showed your love and support for that. So I wanted to come back and we want to come back quick to talk about some new NFT projects that are coming through. And at the same time, I want to talk about some of the old ones that we talked about before and show you what the hell is going on because we're making some money. We're making some money. So if you haven't already, please do us a huge favor and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell. That bell is gonna get you real time alerts when these videos drop live. And of course, follow us on Twitter at CryptoWise Daily. That is right, CryptoWise Daily. Our Twitter is growing and it is, you know, Melt is doing a phenomenal job. It really, really is growing. And come meet us in Telegram, our entire beloved CryptoWise family. You got to join us in Telegram at CryptoWise Official. Okay, so make sure to join us there. Now, today, as I mentioned, we are talking about NFTs. I've got some amazing, cool, interesting projects that I want to bring to you. And it's really important we do it quick because they are minting today. They are minting tomorrow and some have already minted, but you got to jump on. Well, not financial advice. It's never financial advice. You got to do your own research, but I'll tell you, I'm jumping on. And so you could do as you please with that information. Now, let's just talk about my last few picks. Okay. In my last video, you would have seen crypto bull society. These are them here, the crypto bulls. They are freaking cool. Very, very cool. By the way, I minted two. Okay. And I got one with these gold, uh, horns on them. Freaking cool. Um, so I've got two of these guys. Now, if you own a crypto bull, I suggest, I'm not going to dive deep into this. So go watch my old video. Okay, please. But if you own a crypto bull, make sure, make sure uh, that you check this out because you're, you're going to get one of the bears for every bull that you hold. You will get a bear. That is right. A bear. Now, these things look very, very cool. Let's just talk about this real quick, because as I'm looking at these crypto bulls, OK, here's crypto bull society. Guys, I meant we minted these last week for 0.22 ETH, and the floor right now is 2.85. I minted two of them and I have sold one of them, my least rare one. I sold for 3.5 ETH in auction on OpenSea. So very, very happy about that. Now, I'm just here. This guy is cool. Holy smokes. I wish I minted that guy. Anyways, Crypto Bulls, we talked about last week. Check out my old video if you want to get into this one. Every bull that you own, you will get a bear and the bears look very, very cool. But I wanted to show you because we get a lot of, sh we get a lot of shit talking. We get a lot of shilling. We get a lot of crap, a lot of FUD. And it's really important to see that a lot of the projects that we are picking are doing very, very well. 0.22 ETH last week. We're at 2.85 floor right now. Now, another project that we talked about a couple of times was Desperate Ape Wives. Okay. Do you guys remember Desperate Ape Wives? These guys right here, spin off on the Board Ape Yacht Club female version, Desperate Eight Wives. These guys are great. I also minted a few of these and bought a few of these. Milton did as well. The mint, I believe, was 0 0.09 ETH per, and we have a floor right now at 1.485, okay? And it was at 1.8 yesterday. Not bad, not bad at all. So I wanted to take a look at that. We've got Desperate Eight Wives, we've got Crypto Bulls, both smashing it. Now, here is the most exciting thing that I've seen to date. And by the way, you still have time. The mint is done. We are the walrus, WATW. I've talked about this because I love this project so much. I am addicted to the project. I love what the team has done. I love everything these guys are building. It is by far my biggest Solana bag and will continue to be. I have been continuously buying up some amazing walruses uh, that people, you know, paper hands are out selling. I guess they've minted multiple ones. They want some return. Guys are making money on these. The mint was a great success. It happened last Saturday and it was awesome. They sold out. The pre-sale went. Everything was flawless. This team has just been amazing. They're, they're doing live AMAs every second day. They did a live AMA literally every day for the 
two weeks prior to the mint. They've got this post mint party, guys. This is super important because if you didn't get a walrus yet, which by the way, you can on all the major Solana marketplaces. Here we are here on Magic Eden. And here's some of these amazing walruses. Uh, I love these guys so much. Uh, some of the amazing walruses that are for sale in Magic Eden. You can see that the floor price is 1.19 soul. The average price is 2.28. The volume has been incredible on these guys. They're ranked number four volume for the last seven days on Solana. They haven't been out a week. So they're top four on the entire Solana chain. That's amazing. They were uh, most popular project on Magic Eden when they came out for the first 24 hours. Amazing. Their mint went amazing. And so, by the way, guys, they are launching their wall of shame because for those that don't know, uh, we are the walrus is a deflationary um, a utility where the project is buying back the floor. They're using royalties to buy back the floor and burn. And then they've got this amazing uh, game coming out, uh, slot machine game where you can put your walrus to try to win one of four legendaries every time you put a walrus and you lose it gets burnt so eventually the collection will come down to five thousand now here's the thing though the the post mint party has not happened it is coming up on the 18th and 19th of december we'll find out for you and all of these amazing prizes are being given out the only chance the thing is anyone still has a chance to be involved all you have to do is own a walrus and by the way for every walrus that you own in your wallet that is one entry to become a random winner of any of the prize giving that's happening. And they're holding it live on Discord, maybe Twitch, I think. I can't remember. But it's going to be a live postman party where they're picking the winners live. It's all going to be fully transparent. It's going to come down to your wallets having walruses for a chance to win in the postman party. So that's absolutely huge. You got to make sure. Again, not financial advice, but I'm telling you right now, I've got over, I think, close to 20 walruses. On their Discord, I'm now part of the Whale Group or the Whale Club, which I'm excited to get in there and chat on. Their community is on fire. It is by far the best community I have been in, in crypto, in NFTs. Everybody in there is inclusive. Everybody, they've got their Raiders group helping work towards getting the message out. Those guys are amazing. They've got this, something called the, the Walrus Maniacs program where you know diehard walrus lovers are in there helping the project get it out to the world they've got uh now they're getting traction from celebrities and musicians that are that are really getting behind it and so this project has so much potential and the floor the floor is still cheap at a 1.19 sold now the mint was at 0.89 the average price is over two it's almost 2.3 so everyone that minted is doing quite well but this is still so early days they haven't even done their first burn yet so I think they've started sweeping the floor, but they haven't done their first burn yet. So guys, early, early days on We Are The Walrus. I can't say enough about this project. If you're not in it yet, you got to check it out. And definitely, if you're interested, I would make the move before uh, before the 18th or 19th of December so that you're a part of the Postman Party. You can win these gold frames. You can win the bloody vintage Austin Mini. Okay, you can win gold rings. You can win a We Are The Walrus pinball machine. The list goes on. You got to make sure if you're interested in this project, go check it out now. Join their community. Join their Discord. I'm going to keep ranting about it because I freaking love it. And I think these guys are huge. It is, in my mind, going to be the largest blue chip on Solana. That's it. I'm telling you now, write it down, put it in pen, because that's my prediction of We Are The Walrus. Now, speaking about projects, speaking about We Are The Walrus, let's talk about another project that I've talked about before that delayed, well, they didn't delay it, okay? They came to their senses and they're no longer on Ethereum and they've moved over to Solana and that is Blockchain Billy's. Io. Now, Blockchain Billies is doing some incredible things. They've got amazing artwork, by the way. I really love the artwork. Their mint is coming up this Sunday, December 12th at 5 p.m. UTC. So make sure to get your little notepad out for that one. And the total supply is 5,555. And the mint price is 0.55 sold. Now, what I found, what I really liked about these guys was the artwork. I got to say, the artwork is awesome. Um, I'm into this. I know Milton really likes this artwork too. It's just super cool, super out there. The other thing that got my attention back was they are doing some one-on-one -on -one rare ones. And oh, by the way, guys, there's a very special one for CryptoWise. There's a very special one for CryptoWise. And talking about We Are The Walrus, there's a very special rare one for one for WATW. These guys, they're just, they're, they're connecting to my heart and my soul. So I had to give them 
another shout out and because the artwork's amazing. So go check them out at Blockchain Billies and make sure to note that they are minting this Sunday. And so go make sure to take a look, do your own research, but they're doing some awesome things. Now, I've, I have talked about them in past videos. The collection, like I said, is 5,555. Okay, they're retro loving, they're randomly generated. There's a nostalgic and goats. And over the last few decades, the Billies have been carefully collecting artifacts from their youth, pop, and culture, preparing for their pro prolific pursuit of the famed Gotopia. Anyways, guys, go check out their site. Okay, you can read it for yourself, but super, super cool. Uh, remember, they've got them broken down into the tribes. And uh, like we talked to the oracles, we've got the scavengers. There's the tech heads. I love the retro sort of 80s, 90s stuff that comes out of this. Um, and the church of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> very very cool check them out like i said okay this sunday 12th of december 5 p.m utc blockchain billies you heard it from me here at crypto wise okay 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 let's move on because there's a lot and this one is happening now and we are back onto the ethereum blockchain here we are talking about eth nfts in this one we are talking about cool monsters cool monsters welcome to cool monsters monsters downtown that way exit seven okay guys this one is minting right now so i would recommend if you're interested in this you go take a look at it right now uh we'll take a look at that but look at the artwork very very cool super creative these guys are outside of the box i like what they're doing they've got a ton of potential now it is on eth gas prices are high um and so you know take that into account and nfts are tough right now on eth i've got to say things are tough but there are a lot of winners i talked about a couple at the beginning of the show we talked about desperate ape wives talked about uh crypto bulls done very very well in the last few weeks on those ones and so i'm still looking for eth gems came across this one cool monsters and uh so far everything i see i like i like it like it like now they've only got 1,121 1,111 of the first cool monsters create on the blockchain. Okay, check them out. How cool are these though? Honestly, the artwork's amazing. And as I dug deeper into the uh, what they're doing, they've got some amazing things. So it's a French artist. I love France. I love the artwork in France. I love the artists in France um, creating universe. So APO is a French artist who's creating universe and living in his own creativity for the last 20 years with cool dope creatures. His creativity extended to the streets of France with dope street mural graffiti artwork. In the first collection, only one creature is teleported to the nft universe more to come okay and you can see here a number of the creature that they're working on and they've got some cool things that they're talking about doing like comic books and series and if you look here we can see uh, the amazing french artist at work some of his murals for his creatures his, some of the creation of how he's going through the creation of these I, this is real, real stuff here. Um, you can go through, talk about their rarity, common, uncommon, all the way down to mystery. Um, and so I'm loving everything I see right now. I do have to use a little bit of caution because it is on ETH. And let's take a look at their mint. Um, I am, I'm being, I'm being more picky on what I'm getting on ETH. I am, full disclosure, going to grab a couple of these probably uh, shortly after I film this because I want to grab a couple. I'm not sure how many, maybe two or three is what I'm thinking. Um, gas prices, I got to check them out. Now, so the Mint is live. You can go check it out right now at CoolMonsters with a Z.com or a Z, whoever, wherever you're from. And it's Mint.CoolMonsters.com for their Mint. But go to their official site. You can get to their Mint there. As always, join their community. Get in their Discord. Get in their Twitter. Do your own research. For me, I really like the artist. I really like the artwork. And I like what these guys are doing. So I'm likely going to grab a couple. And I wanted to bring it to your attention. Everyone's asking me, hey, Marv, what are you minting these days? What are you minting on ETH? What are you minting on Soul? So today I am bringing you both, okay? I'm bringing you both. I've brought you a couple Soul gems and I'm bringing you some more ETH. I do got to say that I am definitely moving more towards Solana. Now, I did have a couple big wins recently on ETH that we talked about. But I also am moving towards Solana because in, so on Solana, I can do way more. I can I can literally buy and sell all day long if I want. I can make, you know, point. I see guys flipping like they're literally I I watch. I was watching them with uh, We Are the Walrus and, uh, you know, there's guys they're making a profit every which way 
on these collections because I see them and I go in and I take a look. I take a look. I don't know about this one, but you take a look and you can see that it had been sold. See, sold for one soul. Now this guy, he's trying to get 1.37. He probably will because he's on the floor. That's a quick 0.37 soul. You can't do that on you. The gas is just too much. It's way too much. But on Solana, you can grab the floor, grab a gem, wait a day. If you believe in the collection going up, boom, flip it and make some and make some bucks. And you can do that times 10, do it on 10. Anyways, you can do this kind of stuff on Solana. So I'm digging, digging deep into Sol. And I came across these guys, Dope Cats. And they have something interesting. You know, I got to say, I, I'm interested in what they're doing. Um, it's pretty simple. The artwork's cool. It's simple. I like simple. Cats tend to do well. Uh, and so they are minting tomorrow. Now, originally, these guys were supposed to mint today. And that's why I was looking at them. But they've actually pushed it till tomorrow. And also, interestingly enough, they've cut the collection size in half, which I think was a smart move. Uh, they've cut it down to 3,333. And they've cut the price in half, which I got to be honest with you, Dope Cats, was a good move too because people are getting greedy. People are getting greedy. And so now it's 0.5 ETH. And there's only going to be 3,333 of them. As they dive into their community a bit, they've got a good following. They've got uh, 6,600 people on Twitter. Their Discord is starting to bump. There's people very keen on this. This one's quite cool. I like this guy here. And so, from what I understand, the team's working on a lot of stuff. And the artwork's pretty cool. Now, no guarantees. When it comes to Solana NFTs right now, I've, I'm still, my number one, I got to say, is We Are The Walrus. But I'm looking for that next gem. And I will say I am going to be getting a couple dope cats because you don't know. I don't know if the community is strong enough, then they could do well. That's one part. If the team is for real, which I think these guys are from from what I've been reading and what I've been seeing, um, I think they're they're good guys and they, they're going to execute on a lot of or at least try to execute on a lot of what they're saying they're going to execute on. Therefore, the project could do really well. And so the fact that they smashed their collection in half pre-mint smart move dope cats and the fact that they smash the price ha in half pre-mint smart move dope cats so for that reason and those reasons and as well as the art and the community because community is everything i'm gonna buy a couple of these guys they're minting tomorrow that's why i want to bring it to your attention 22 hours 10 minutes and 20 seconds from now ah, not financial advice these guys could go to negative 100 not my fault. Don't blame it on me. As a matter of fact, every NFT that you learn about through this channel, it could 100x. It could 1000x. The last few that we talked about, right? They did really, really well. Um, everything from uh, uh, bah, 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 Desperate Ape Wives did very, very well. Um, Bulls, Crypto Bull Society did very, very well. Uh, we Are The Walrus did incredibly well. They're going to be even doing more amazing things. So, you could do amazing, but you could also go to zero. I can't say one way or the other, but I can tell you based on the research that I've done, the communities, the the amount of activity and the art, I tend to bring you ones that do that do quite well. And so I'll pick up a, a couple dope cats. I'm going to get involved in the community a bit. I'm going to join their Discord. I'm going to join their Twitter. And before I make a big investment into it, I'm going to see what it's all about for real. But go take a look at it. Get out your pencils. It's going to be an exciting NFT day today. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of this video. But as always, guys, please do us a huge favor and smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell. That bell is going to get you real time drops when we go live. I got to tell you, I absolutely love this space. I love NFTs. I love gaming. Of course, I love crypto. The last couple of weeks have been tough. Crypto's been down. But listen, those last three projects, the first three I brought up in this video, We Are the Walrus, Desperate Ape Wives, and Crypto Bulls, they all smashed it, even in a shit market. So that speaks to where NFTs are going. I think it's very early, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very early. Just use caution anytime you're investing. Don't invest anything you can't afford to lose. It's been real, my friends. Until next time, this is Marvin saying I am over and out.